New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers, left, and cornerback Sauce Gardner on the field before the Danielle Perez Curran slash North Jersey dot com. Sports Illustrated senior NFL reporter Albert Breer laid out ambitious expectations for Aaron Rodgers and the Jets while appearing on the Rich Eisen show this past week. I think, as we get closer to the season, you start looking at the Jets, and it's like, okay, if Aaron can be even 90% of what he was, that team should be the favorite in the AFC East. Maybe, outside of Cincinnati, could be the top contender to the Chiefs, said Breer punctuating a tightly packed 60-second assessment about New York. A division title would be their first since 2002, and it may be asking a lot for a team that finished 7-10 last year despite boasting the NFL's third-ranked defense. Naturally, however, a healthy Rodgers should instantly boost an offense that ranked 31st out of 32 teams in 2023. I still think your New York Jets are quite fascinating, said Breer. They feel like they've got a really good team. I know Joe Douglas, Robert Sala like the fact that they're going into this thing with a little less attention on them, but if you look at that roster, man. The veteran football scribe approved of the Jets draft hall, especially the team's first two selections. I think getting Olu Fashionu is really smart in that it gives them a backstop at the tackle position. They addressed tackle aggressively. They really like Malachi Corley, who they got in the second round, who they believe can be a force as a run after the catch guy, is a perfect fit for Aaron Rodgers, said Breer. On the other side of the ball, New York features all pro talent at each level of the defense with defensive tackle Quinn and Williams, linebacker Quincy Williams and cornerback Sauce Gardner leading the charge. That defense brings a lot back. That defense was pretty good last year in really adverse situations, said Breer. The stage seems set for something magical to happen with the Jets in 2024.